Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the Music Factory Studios. Today I'm going to show you what it looks like when you get a brand new Pinebook Pro and open it up for the very first time. I apologize for the font being so blurry, but my capture card is 1080p only. And to zoom in, it gets a little blurry. That way you can at least make out what it is saying. So the first thing that comes up is the choice between an ANSI keyboard and an ISO keyboard. If you're, if you have the ANSI version, choose that. If you have an ISO version, choose that. Now give it a username and next, after giving it a username, we will give the new user admin privileges for different parts of the system. Make sure you double check your typing here and spell correction and put a comma between each one of these admin options. If you miss one, you may lose out on some functionality such as network, your Wi-Fi, or storage, not being able to use external drives and things of that nature. And just make sure you double check it before you go on beyond this point that you have all of your spelling done correctly. Next, put in your desired full name and then your password. You're gonna enter this four times or you can have a regular password and then a root admin password. Choose your time zone. There are a plethora of time zones to choose from. I chose New York because it's on the East Coast and I'm in the same time zone. Now this is what got me the first time. I'm like, okay, what is this? UTF-8. Uh, so I made some educated guesses because I really didn't have a clue. I was kind of a little bit stumped. If you're in America, choose EN, that's for English, and US UTF-8. You can see it right there. English US UTF-8. I accidentally chose Spanish once and when I finally booted into the OS. It was all in Spanish and I had to just reinstall. After you've done that, it just takes a second and Manjaro begins to reboot. Now, because I had an external screen hooked up, it'll boot into XFCE or KDE or whatever the, the distro desktop is that you have on your Pinebook. And one of the issues that I had was this. What is that? So because I had an external screen hooked up, and if you see that, sometimes just hold the power button down and let it reboot and you'll be fine. Sometimes there is a graphics driver issue on initial boot. Don't think your Pinebook Pro is broken. It is not, it is fine. Just hold the power button down and restart and you'll be fine. All right, check out manjaro.org and pine64.org. Grab yourself a pine book today. It's worth it. You can have Linux, BSD, Android, all kinds of cool stuff to run on it. All right, guys and gals, check out one of these videos below. Subscribe, thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.